What's up guys? Jackass Juniors here. Haven't made videos in a long time. Um and you know how we're kinda all over the place with our videos and this time I decided to do a video. I'm gonna start um collecting zippos. I don't know why I really like to. They're small and they're easy to fix, so I like fixing the little things that can go wrong with them and which there aren't many, but I'll talk about that um maybe in another video or maybe a little bit later. And ahead of time, sorry about the noise outside. They're doing construction, they're building a new house across the street. It's not even a house, it looks like a freaking mansion, castle thing. It's pretty ugly. But anyways, they're behind my computer screen here, so let me just get them out. Now, I have... One of them here is not a Zippo. It's an old World War II lighter, but I'm going to be mainly collecting Zippos. A couple oddball, cool Zippo zip, um, lighters Sorry, um, that I'll have every once in a while. But for the most part, it's just going to be Zippos. So, this is my first, my first real Zippo. My dad got this for me. I thought it was cool because, obviously, I don't smoke. I'm 14. But, um, I thought it was cool because I got this lighter before, um, what's it called? Advertising cigarettes, like commercials, and putting it on stuff like lighters was, I, I don't think it's allowed anymore because they realize it's bad for you. But, um, I'm not sure what year it's made, but it, the, uh, indications there's like a couple different ways there's dots there's tally marks and then there's n numbers and then for the month it's always been letters i think but um this one has tally marks so it's pretty old uh it came in a nice little box and this one's kind of just like a nice little saving thing my dad bought it for me um it works the uh insides match the case with the tally marks and everything yeah it works works good uh... you know it comes with a, like some old cool little paperwork in here solid brass zippo windproof lighter and then it tells you a little bit about it like you know you are now the proud owner of a zippo windproof lighter and all that stuff and then some operating directions and i think the warranty and then, my next one, these two I got, uh, I got two days ago, at Rite Aid, I saw them when I was with my older friend, well he's not really my friend, he's like, he's helping my uncle move into our house, because we have an apartment in our basement, he's helping my uncle move into there, so, um, and he's 20, so we went there, and he was like, oh yeah, sure, I'll use my ID and buy them for you, or whatever, so he did that for me, which is pretty cool, this one I haven't put fluid in, but it's just a, it's got a cool red outline, matte black, and then it says Zippo there. I hate that they have to put the little, uh, the R there, what does that stand for again? Uh, all rights reserved or something like that. Yeah, but this one I haven't put fluid into. Just sparks. As you can see, the flint is not black. Um, this one was made in, let's see if I can remember, I think it was made in January of last year. Okay, I was right. Cause, I mean, I've, I've been looking at them for a while now, so. January of last year. And this one was made in February of 2013, but I'll get to that one after. But yeah, it's a nice lighter. It's it's pretty much brand new. And I wish that they would have done the same thing. See, on this one, it's flat black, but they took off the paint out the bottom so you could read the markings. Um, This one, they didn't do that. You can just barely see the tally marks and the little letter over there. You can't see it on camera, especially with this thing. I do have my phone and it has a HD camera, 720p. Um, I'm not sure if it's 1080 also, but whatever. So, uh, I'll make HD videos, but for my first one I didn't feel like having to take it off my phone and put it on the computer and all that. So, yeah. Then, this one, just a plain Jane chrome brushed chrome, and then on the edges it's polished chrome, and if you look, you can polish it up really nice, and it comes out, it's like a freaking mirror, pretty, uh, pretty nice, this one I did put fluid in, now, this one, like I said, made in February of last year, Zippo, with the little R thing, Bradford, Pennsylvania, made in USA, Bradford, PA, uh, you can see that. Um, and the insides do match. They're newer lighters. I don't think they could mix it up now. 
like they're pretty good at it. As you can see, the insides still are brass. It's just chrome coated. Now, weak points. Um, if you owned a Zippo or you kind of know a little bit about them, most people that own Zippos kind of know about them. Like, oh yeah, this is my Zippo, not just like, oh here, use my lighter. You know, most people that have them kind of know about them a little bit, and they know that they smell. I personally like the smell. I mean, I don't. I obviously prefer fresh air, but I don't. The smell doesn't really bother me. Um, also, the fuel evaporates after a while. You leave it, and it'll it will evaporate. And after a while, the hinges kind of get. This one's brand new, so it's, it, you know that's just natural wobble between the little things. But you'll see, like they'll get really, really bent and then they don't close properly and these ones are obviously they're all okay because they have they're built well it's just you know after a while nothing is virtually indestructible but um and this is this world war ii lighter just take the flints out of it it needs a little bit of work i already did most of it um this is it now it does not have the spring with the flints in it i have the flints here i need to go on eBay or something and find like a lot of like broken or some working Zippos and like little parts and stuff and I have some money on this Visa gift card I got it's in my wallet I think um and I'm gonna buy them and I'm gonna start off my collection like officially so here it is it's obviously it's very old not sure what year but my dad uh had it it says Dunhill service lighter it's made it was for the army um, obviously, you can see it's kind of old style. You flip this, and it lights that tiny little thing in there. There's obviously there's more in here, but one problem, uh, obviously, it's missing the spring and the screw. We got to get another one of those, and it leaked out of the bottom. So if you look, see that little black ring? That's an O-ring I put there to stop it from leaking. And I don't know if you can hear that right now, but if you can, I'm sorry. Freaking cement trucks, it's ridiculous. Uh. And of course, they come with the Zippo Manufacturing Company Guarantee. This came with the newer lighters, so it has some advertisements for, you know, the Zippo Blue and this this hand warmer thing and whatever this is. Outdoor utility lighter, rugged metal construction, adjustable dual flame, advanced ignition system, and, and an LED flashlight. Wow. Um, let's see what the guarantee says. Says any Zippo pocket lighter when returned to our factory will be put in our first class mechanical condition free of charge. For we have yet to charge a cent for the repair of a Zippo pocket lighter, regardless of age or condition. The finish, however, is not guaranteed. This guarantee gives you specifically gives you specific legal rights, and you may also have other rights which vary from state to state. Other Zippo products carry their own specific warranties. For repair instructions, log on to Zippo.com. It's pretty cool though. So um, sorry, this is a nine minute video it's probably gonna end up being nine minutes but yeah so i got this old lighter made by dunhill service lighter i got these two zippos and this zippo which my dad bought for me i shouldn't have put fluid in this one because i mean it's kind of just like a special to me i shouldn't have put fluid in it but i was eager to see it work so i did whatever no big deal um but yeah so those are my Zippos, thanks for watching, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and subscribe if you want to see more videos of my Zippo collection. Thanks, see you later.